Now, French satirical weekly Charlie Hebdo, the target of a massacre by Islamist gunmen in January 2015, has said it's republishing hugely controversial cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad. This to mark the start of the trial on Wednesday of alleged accomplices in that attack. Twelve people, including some of France's most celebrated cartoonists, were killed in January 2015 when brothers Saeed and Sharif Kouachi went on a gun rampage at the paper's offices. Joining me now are French affairs editor Mark. Paraman. Mark, tell us about when these cartoons were first published. They were first published in a Danish uh, publication back in 2005. Uh, Yilans Posten was the name of uh, the publication. And they were shortly after that uh, republished in uh, Charlie Hebdo. And uh, this became a controversy at the time, nearly 15 uh, years ago. And this is when essentially Charlie Hebdo became the target of uh, attacks first of all, verbal attacks, and then, uh, tragically, uh, this uh, terrorist attack that you mentioned on January 7th, uh, 2015. And uh, so uh, the fact that uh, they are republished uh, today uh, as the trial starts uh, tomorrow of this massacre and the mas massacre at a kosher supermarket in the ensuing uh, days of uh, January uh, 2015 is clearly uh, symbolic. Uh, there was an editorial written saying we've uh, essentially refrained from publishing any caricatures of Prophet Muhammad since those tragic days, but we feel uh, first of all, that we're entitled to, it's legal to do so, and we were waiting for a moment to do when it would mean something. And we believe today it is a must. Uh, we must uh, publish this because uh, of essentially the sentiment among uh, the Charlie community, as it's known, but also other uh, that uh, Everyone is not Charlie anymore. You might remember uh, this slogan, Je suis Charlie, uh, that was uh, branded during this huge demonstration. People uh, have, uh, some of them have essentially gone away from supporting uh, Charlie Hebdo, and there's a feeling in the newspaper uh, that the support has essentially vanished. The values they were fighting for are not defended as uh, stoically as they have been, and that there's a danger for that. And so this is why they've decided uh, to shock, probably, but also uh, to call attention to what they fear it is this uh, moral uh, fight that needs uh, to be continued and should not be forgotten. Because the trial that's about to get underway will be a landmark trial for this country. Yes, absolutely. A major, a major trial that's going to last uh, for weeks. Uh, a trial, uh, there will be 11 uh, people, essentially accomplices, in the box. Three uh, will be judged in abstentia, but obviously the perpetrators uh, of uh, the Shali uh, attack and uh, the ensuing attack on a policewoman the following day and on a kosher supermarket two days later have been killed uh, by uh, the police either uh, just after the attack or the in, in the ensuing uh, day. So uh, the main culprits will not be there, but this will be a very important moment. It will be a major a trial, a major security uh, apparatus has been mobilized uh, in addition to uh, the COVID-19 context. Uh, so this will be a very, very uh, symbolic moment. Uh, lots of people will be hoping to get some more information about how this was planned, decided, and uh, carried out. Uh, but there will be uh, certainly uh, some controversies about uh, the role of Islam in France, about political Islam, how uh, this should be framed in terms of political discourse, because this has been going on and on and on for years before uh, the Charlie attack. People thought that this would be a moment where France would come together. Yes, France came together, but that's not the case five years later anymore. All right, thank you very much for your analysis, Mark.